Hi, my name is Jovi, and welcome back to Kids Corner. Today we're going to learn about serving like Jesus. So today we're going to learn we serve others to live like Jesus. So let's read that again. We serve, serve others, others to, to live, live like, like Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Jovi, what do you have here? What's that? This is called ushbone. Do you know what ushbone is? You probably do because um, whenever you eat chicken a lot, have you ever eat chicken? You probably have. Um, but not boneless chicken, but chicken with bones. I think this is between the chicken breast and the wings, mm -hmm. maybe? And it's a piece of the... No, but that this isn't a real one, right? Yeah, that's just a stick. <laughs> my grandpa, my grandpa um, went out to find some... A stick shaped a like stick a wishbone. A stick shaped like a wishbone. Right. And he found it. So how does this work? Let's show the boys and girls how it works. So you're going to hold on to this. Okay. And then now close your eyes. Okay. And then on a count of three, you're going to make a wish. And then what happens? You're going to break and whoever gets the largest piece, okay. their wish comes true. All right. Close my eyes. Who's counting? Me. Okay, go. One, two, three. Oh. I, I didn't break did mine. <laughs> well, mine mean. broke off, so yours is longer. Oh, right? yeah. 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 Okay. What did you wish for? I wish that it would be a wonderful day. What did I, you wish for? I wish that I could share the glory of God often. Mm, that's a great wish. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes people wish things and then later they wish they didn't mm -hmm. wish it. Can you give our friends an example? Yeah. I'm going to go stand over here while you finish talking. Okay. So let's say that you were at school and you, and let's say you're having some party. You're eating chicken. And you found a wishbone in the chicken and you yelled at one of your friends and said, Hey, come here. Do you want to do the wishbone? Is it wishbone contest? Let's just call it a wishbone contest. And on the count of three, you go one, two, three, and then I get the biggest piece. And my friend says, what did you wish for? And I said, I wish that I'll never have to go to school again. And then what if that wish came true? Then a couple of like months, days later, you would say, mom, dad, I wanna to go to school. And then your mom and dad would say, you know how you did that wishbone contest and it came true? You're not going to be able to go to school anymore. So today we're going to learn about um, how how we serve others to live like Jesus. So this is our whole Bible story for today. James and John were two brothers who were disciples of Jesus. One day, the two of them came to Jesus and said to him, "Teacher." We want you to do for us, for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus said. Jesus replied, In your glorious kingdom, we want to sit, sit in places of honor next to you. One at your right and, other, and the other at your left. You see, the thought Jesus was going to set up an earth, you see, they thought Jesus was going to set up an earthly kingdom. And they wanted to sit beside him on the throne. They wanted to share his glory and greatness. Jesus answered, you don't know what you're asking. Then he explained that whoever wants to be great must be a servant of all. He said, for even I, the son of man, came here not to be served, but to serve others. And to give my life as a ransom for many. I don't think that being a servant was exactly what James and John were wishing for. I'm going to give you some time to think about what I just said. I don't think that being a servant was exactly what James and John were, were was, wishing, was wishing for. Okay, so what I was thinking is that James and John weren't telling Jesus the right thing. They were saying... I want you to, I want to, so whenever you sit at your throne, there's going to be people passing by and giving you all these gifts and serving you. 
but I don't think Jesus likes to get served. I think he like, but he does. But he likes even more is when others serves others. Let's give an example. So if I serve others, that makes Jesus happy. I mean, like he still is happy whenever I serve him, but he's more happy whenever I serve others. Because Jovi, when you serve others, you are serving him. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you and I may say, I wish I could be more like Jesus. But is that really our wish? If we really want that wish to come true, we must live as servants the way Jesus did. Only then can we be truly great and show God's love to the world. Dear God, wait, let's pray. Let's pray. Dear God, help us help us to mean it when we say, I wish we could be I wish I could be more like Jesus. Please show us each day how to become a greater servant to those around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jovi, for that lesson. Thank you. Bye. Bye.